I'm extremely thankful for the opportunity, you know, not to redshirt last year to be able to make an you know, make an impact for my team. Um, you know, I started out the year actually on scout team. You know, I didn't have a whole lot of opportunity, but you know, from that moment, I said, you know, this isn't going to define me. And I worked extremely hard every day. Coach Napier saw it. All the other coaches saw it. And you know, because of my work, they decided to give me an opportunity on special teams. And towards the end of the year, I ended up being, I think, the either the first or second highest graded special teams player. So, you know, it's about owning your owning your role, you know, knowing who you are and, you know, striving to be more. My recruitment was a weird one. Um, you know, I picked up steam late. Uh, it was frustrating for times, but, you know, I, I'm a firm believer in, you know, in God that everything's going to work out as, as it's intended. And I've always been a firm believer in myself and, you know, believing that I'm going to end up where I want to be because of the way I work and the way I carry myself and the things I do. So, you know, as things came down to it being late, it came between a few close teams. And then, you know, Florida jumped in the mix late. And, you know, I'd always, you know, I've been a Florida fan. You know, I've been a Florida boy. And, you know, so when they came in, I took that last visit and, you know, when I went out into the swamp and looked around, you know, being up in the stands my whole life, you know, my parents, both my parents went here, um, came to games here, Jacksonville here, away games. Um, it was it was a surreal moment. And, you know, in that moment, I decided, you know, I'm going to do whatever it takes to earn my stripes here and, you know, make my legacy here. Yeah, so, I mean, it, my dad's always been a firm believer, you know, dress the part, look the part, be the part. You know, that's that's something he's instilled in me, you know, since I was – five years old, you know, when you go out somewhere, you know, be addressed properly, you know, if you're addressing people, you know, you want to be respected. So look respectable. You know, I got the opportunity to take a trip up to Washington, D.C. And, you know, I put on my best outfit to look presentable, and, you know, understand the role I was taking. So, you know, it's all the little things, you know, and this is just one of those little things that, you know, makes a big difference in the end. You know, when I came here, I, I looked like a a plank. I mean, I was stiff. I could, I'm, I'm just going to be honest. I mean, I couldn't move well, you know, I just couldn't do these things. So he just told me, he's like, jump rope, yoga. And I, you know, I took those things and over the off season, I did yoga three days a week, um, yin yoga to be specific, to get into tendons and ligaments. And I mean, now when you watch me play and you're going to, y'all are going to see, I mean, I don't even look like the same person anymore. So, you know, it's just Taking those little things from my coach, you know, I, I implemented those things every single day and took them to heart. And then as well as just moves and stuff. I mean, he, you know, when you, when you play for a guy that's been in the league, he's been there, done that. It's so much easier to, you know, take in that coaching because you know he's done it. You know he's been there. So, you know, he's really worked on me with my double swipe. You know, he knew everyone knows I got power. You know, I play aggressive. I play physical. But he's really helped me to, you know, work on my hands, work on my speed and, be, you know, Owning that I can also be a fast and twitchy guy, not just a big power muscle.